What do you make both of the sort of internal consistency, but also the political wisdom of Trump's stance? Well, Dinesh, it's, a, it's interesting because, you know, I remember going to March for Life and Marches for Life back in the 1990s. And I, I've, I've always been part of the pro-life movement. And uh, the political positions of the life movement against Roe v. Wade, as well as the Republican Party, by and large, have always been to return it to the states. This has been a long-standing policy of presidential candidate after presidential candidate, back to Reagan and others, to say that should be a state's rights issue. Different states are going to come down different ways on that. And it is, it's just the way it is. It's, it's, by the way, a system that our founders gave us called federalism. And uh, any, th any power that is not delineated to the federal government is intended to be under the 10th Amendment. Uh, it is maintained by the states and by the people. And uh, there's been a lot of a lot of pushback on President Trump's statement, but I take it as a strategy position more than anything else is to say, from a strategy perspective, I think this is the best way to move forward as of right now, because it had always been from 2016 and people said, oh, Donald Trump, you know, he's this former Democrat and he had said he was pro-choice in the past, just like Ronald Reagan, by the way, a former Democrat who had been pro-choice. And Trump said Trump's response to that was the short list of Supreme Court justices. And he said, this will be my short list and I will approve conservative justices to the bench. He kept up his end of the bargain on that. And he said, I'm going to appoint justice. We didn't know he was going to three appointments. I don't think anybody could have. I don't think even he could have predicted he'd get three. That is extremely rare. And, um, and I don't think I don't think people point that out as much. But he did three. He got three conservative justices and he took ones that were handed to him that were actually recommended to him, put them up there. Roe v. Wade is no more. And so it's it's uh, it's it's sort of an ultimate irony that it was the the brash New York real estate developer that actually defeated Roe v. Wade, as opposed to, um, you know, as opposed to sort of the, uh, you know, what you would normally think of had been the original way. You know, this is not a guy who had been participating in the pro-life movement, uh, I think, in, in any way, shape or form prior to 2016. It just is what it is. History works in strange ways sometimes. But Penny Nance. The CEO of Concerned Women for America had a statement this morning that I really appreciated. She said, we want to protect as many babies as possible and supporting President Trump does that. 